Yo, Uncut Menders, when I was trying to find my first job, I got rejected a lot. I applied to 100 different companies, but I would barely get any interviews. And the reason was always the same. I didn't have any experience. And even today, this is the number one reason why most people get rejected. The problem, though, is that to gain experience, you need to have a job. But to have the job, you need experience. So you're kind of stuck. So today, I'll give you three projects that would have helped me find a high-paying job if I would have to start over today. Stick around till the end because I'll also announce the Cut Bender Projects competition where you can win $100 with your project and you can also get featured on my channel. Let's start with project number one, the Lex Friedman AI chatbot. The goal of this project is to create a chatbot interface that allows you to talk to an AI version of Lex Friedman. Feel free to pick another personality if you want. You can pick like Joe Rogan, David Goggins, Elon Musk. Actually, ideally, try to pick a personality that is universally loved by everyone so that you don't risk offending anyone who reviews your resume, right? Like if you're a recruiter, and if for some reason they don't like Joe Rogan and you build a Joe Rogan chatbot, maybe it won't land very well. I picked Lex Friedman because he's kind of in the middle, he's in the center, he doesn't really offend anyone, he's not controversial, but he's very respected as an intellectual. That's going to be someone good to select. But it doesn't matter really, you can pick a, any personality you want. To build that chatbot, you're going to leverage OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which is the same model that is used by ChatGPT behind the hood. But the trick here is that you need to prompt it correctly so that the AI speaks like Lex Friedman. So for that, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. You can fine tune a custom model or like the simplest way is inside of your prompt, you add examples of tweets that Lex Friedman wrote. For example, you can take like a bunch of tweets, maybe 20 of his tweets. You add them in the prompt and that's an example of how he speaks. Also, OpenAI most likely has already some background information on Lex Friedman. So that's, that's going to help as well. To get started, I recommend you use this template from Vercel. It's basically a chatbot template that is built on React and Next.js. For me, that's my favorite stack to use. So if you want to use the stack, I recommend you look at that template. You're going to see the basic code for a chatbot and already utilize AI. So that's perfect for you. I rank this project a three out of five in terms of difficulty, a two out of five in terms of time that it's going to take you to build it, and a four out of five in terms of wow factor. Like wow factor is how good it's going to look on the resume, basically. Next project, a GPT-4 trading bot. This one is interesting because you can actually make money from this project. I would recommend do this project in two parts though. The first part is the simplest. You want to build a GPT financial advisor. So instead of having a bot that actually trades for you, you have a bot that just gives you financial advice. And it's financial advice that is not specific, so it's not hooked up to the internet. It doesn't know like live data about news that happens like every day. It just knows financial information based on either some data that you provide in the prompt or just general knowledge. Something, for example, where it says that based on your income, it's wise to invest only 10% of your income into stocks and crypto. Basically, general knowledge that based on information is going to give you like safe financial advice. I actually have a student who built an app similar to this. He called it Berkshire GPT, which is basically this chatbot that gives you general financial advice. You can ask about different stocks and just ask a couple of different questions. And he trained it based on letters from Berkshire Hathaway, which is this super famous like investing company. So that's something that you can do. So this is like version one of this idea. This is the simplest version that you can build. If you want to elevate this, you want to transform that simple chatbot interface into an actual bot that can invest for you. So you can interact with the bot, ask questions. It's going to personalize a plan based on your financial goals, based on your financial situation. And then it's going to start making investments for you. But for that, you need to actually hook up the bot to a live source of data so that it gets the most like relevant news from the day, right? So that it knows like if one stock falls or one stock goes up. One API that you can use for this is the Alpaca API that's going to help you make very specific financial advices. There are a few tutorials on YouTube that help you build a GPT trading bot. So I would check those ones out that it's going to help you get started. I would rank this project a five out of five in terms of difficulty. So it's kind of harder to get started if you want to build like the full bot. Part one is easier, but if you want to do part two, the full thing, it's a five out of five in terms of difficulty. It's also five out of five in terms of time that it takes to build it. But it's a five out of five in terms of the wow factor. If you have that on the resume, that's going to help you stand out by a big time. Project number three, an AI gift idea recommender. So it's an app where you're going to answer a few questions about the person that you want to offer a gift to. And then the AI is going to recommend a bunch of personalized gift ideas for that person. I actually built a project like this when I was a student. You can see this is the project that really helped me land my first job because it was a project that I did everything inside of that project. I had a problem that I identified and the problem is you don't know which gift to offer to your loved ones, to your friends. You figure out the solution. I built a full stack solution. So I had like a front end, I had the back end. So it was full stack. I deployed it online. It was available. You could try those URL. I showed actually the app. I sent like I think a URL 
to my uh, interviewer so you could try it in live during the interview also explain why I did what I did how I built it and that helped a lot because that's how you stand out if you build a full solution and I think I had a few users because I shared the app online like I was running just a few Facebook ads and then I shared it on, on Reddit and Quora um, not much I got like maybe I don't know like after a few months I got maybe like a hundred users or something like that it wasn't that much but it did help me stand out which is the main goal that you want to build this, again, you can use the OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo model that's going to help you create those very highly personalized gift idea suggestions. At the time when I built it, there was no like AI available that was easy to use. There was no OpenAI. So I did it slightly differently, but you can build it a lot better, have a lot better like user experience and better gifts suggested if you use OpenAI. I would just try to make the app kind of fun. So if you can make it look like a game, you know, so that it's a good user experience and it's fun to do, then again, like it's just, it's another skill that you learn. If you build a nice UI, good user experience, like everything is on point, everything is perfect. This is what I try to do with my project. Like if you look at the design, how it looks, like the little animations of the, the gifts that are floating around, the little mascot, and like the mascot, I had a friend actually who did that for me, so I didn't enjoy it myself. Um, I just drew like a concept art and then he made like a full super professional version of it. That's what I would kind of recommend. Like if you can make for this idea, try to make it look like a game because that's going to elevate the experience. The other bonus point that you can add to this one is you can actually hook up the app to the Amazon API. And what this will allow you to do is that when GPT recommends gift ideas, you can look up those gifts, those items inside of Amazon, and then you can link them. And that link could be an affiliate link. This means that in the app, anytime anyone uses it to buy a gift, you're going to get a commission based on it. So it's also a nice little side income that you can have like a passive income, if you just build that app, you deploy it, you try to somehow get a little bit of marketing. If people like it, they use it. You're gonna get some side income from affiliate deals, which is also nice for you personally. But then again, like it's another way of elevating the project to the next level because most people, they build a crappy little project, they don't even deploy it online, they don't do anything with it, they add it to the resume. You will have a project that is built from start to finish, deployed online, have a few users, and maybe even made a few dollars online of this. So obviously this is gonna stand out on the resume. I'm gonna rank this project a four out of five in terms of difficulty. If you wanna go all the way until you actually hook up the Amazon API. I'm gonna also rank it a four out of five in terms of time invested. And then it's gonna be a four out of five in terms of a wow factor on your resume. Out of these three projects, I would recommend you pick the one that is the closest to the industry where you wanna work. So the first idea that we mentioned, the Lex Friedman chatbot is closer to the education industry. The second idea, the GPT financial advisor, it's, uh, it's in the finance space. So if you want to work in finance, build this one. And then the last one is e-commerce. So if you want to go and work for Amazon, for example, you can build that gift idea recommender. Because if you build an idea or a project in your resume that is very similar or in the similar like realm as the company we're applying to, it's a lot easier. That gives you a huge advantage compared to everyone else because they're gonna be intrigued, first of all. That's the main thing. You wanna catch the attention of the recruiter, you wanna intrigue them. You wanna make them in their brain automatically ask questions. As soon as they see that in your resume, they see the project, they'll wanna ask questions, right? They'll wanna ask you questions and know more about it. This means that they'll wanna call you for an interview. Basically, that's what it means. So if you have this that is tied to the industry or the companies, you got, you'll have a lot of opportunities to talk about, you'll have a lot of questions, and that's perfect for you. That's a big advantage. Now, young code benders, it's time for the announcement, the code bender projects competition. You can win $100 by submitting your best project. You're gonna go on my Discord, the server is called the Last Code Bender Nation. You'll find a channel there called Projects Competition. You will go there and you're gonna post your best project. Ideally, you're gonna post just a link to your website because this way I can try it and I can demo it inside of a video. But the next best thing, if you don't have that, if you don't have your project deployed, you're gonna send me a GitHub link to like your repo where the code is. And you need to have this, a video demo of your app so that I can kind of see what it is about, what, how does it look. I'm gonna review all the projects. I'll select the most interesting ones. I'll feature them in a video and then the best project will win $100. I added those rules in the description and the link to my Discord so that you can join it. All the best to everyone. I'm excited to see your submissions. Now, if you wanna know how I'd get my first software engineering job if I would have to start over right now, check out this video.